Hey guys, Ellen makes this bag, and today I'm making some waffles. I got this waffle maker for Valentine's Day, and this is a mini waffle maker by Dash Deep. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's teal, which is amazing, on the outside, and it came with a little recipe book. So, it has some like chocolate waffles, which are delicious by the way, classic waffles, and some other recipes. I'm gonna do some, some classic waffles. So if you go to page 19, if you have this, um, page 19, this is the intro, and then page page 20 is the classic waffles. So I'm going to, or I'm gonna make this. And I already have some of my ingredients measured out, so this is gonna be pretty easy. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one cup of flour, I'm gonna put it into a large bowl. Then I'm gonna take one tablespoon of sugar, and then I'm going to have two tablespoons of baking powder. So that's one tablespoon, and I need to measure out my second one. Um, one tablespoon and two tablespoons of teaspoons, sorry. T two teaspoons of baking powder, and then a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just gonna mix this up with a nice little handy spoon of mine. And mix this all up until combined. Combined. Yeah, combined. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm gonna put this bowl to the side. And then move on to my wet ingredients. So I have one egg already cracked in here because I was trying to move it over to the fridge because I had it out already, but then I dropped it and it cracked on the counter, so I just put it in here. Um, and then I'm going to have two tablespoons of melted butter. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I have my milk in the fridge. And this is just one cup of milk, and I'm just gonna pour this on in here. Then I'm gonna mix this slowly so that it doesn't spill everywhere. So once this is all combined, I'm going to go over to my flour mixture and I'm going to slowly pour this, oops, slowly. <laughs> I'm gonna slowly pour this mixture, egg mixture into the flour mixture. And now I'm gonna fold the flour mixture into the egg until it's a nice consistency. So it's gonna have this weird, like, yellowish color. And, and uh, so that's the color of the waffle mixture. You don't wanna taste this, by the way. Waffle mixture and pancake mixture is the one of the worst flavors ever. But once it's, like, cooked, it's delicious. So this looks done. You don't wanna over mix it or else it's gonna get really, really lumpy and you don't want that. Uh, if it's just a little bit lumpy, that's totally fine, like mine. And that means it's perfectly done. And if it wobbles like that, or it seems like it has too much liquid, that's how it's supposed to be, so. Yeah, I'm going to grab my waffle mixture. You're not my waffle mixture, Blech. My waffle uh, maker, and I'm gonna put it on. Uh, yeah, so, plug it in, and I'm just gonna let that heat up a little bit. And while I'm waiting, my hair is gonna try to do some floss. My hair's flossing. Mm. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this heat up. And it, it's, this company is called Dashki, like I said before. So these heat up and cook really, 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 really quickly. Um, it's like the quickest ever. So if you're trying to make this, like before we go to church or before you're going to leave for an early thing, whatever, and you wanna have a quick breakfast, then these are great as long as you have the batter already made. Uh, if you have the batter, like if you made it the day before and you put it in a container and put it in the fridge, that's totally great. That's what I do with my leftovers and sometimes just make it. Next morning, I take my uh, waffle maker, I heat it up and I just pour my 
a waffle mixture in it and it's like a two minute meal. <laughs> so it's really, really quick, which is great. So I recommend this waffle maker a bunch. So it's nice and heated up already. So I am going to need to put a fourth a cup of the batter into here. Okay. And it doesn't have to be completely perfect. And you just pour it into here. All of it won't come out, but at least most of it will. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna close this and I'm gonna let this cook until the light, this blue light on the top turns off, and then it'll be ready. So yeah, this is like the quickest waffle ever. So I'm gonna go up, go ahead and grab a container for the rest of the stack. Just have it. Oh, spilling. Now steam is rising from the waffle maker, and that's a good sign because that means it's almost done. The light turned off. Okay, let's look at it. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. So I have a fork, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the side of it, and I'm just gonna poke into it, and then this will help me pick it up. Oh, usually works better. Just gonna pick it up, and then I won't have to burn my hands. And since it won't make any more waffles at the moment, I'm just gonna turn this off and let that cool off. I think I'm gonna have some butter with this. So I'm just gonna let this melt on top. It's gonna be good. Okay, and as that melts, I'm going to grab my maple syrup. Whoop. This video was done in one take. I never took a camera. This video was done with. <laughs> Bloopers. This video was done in one take. We never turned the camera off once. Nice. So, I have this nice piece right here. Oh. Best waffles I've had in my life. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> These are so good. Recommend them totally. They get it a lot. Okay, well that's it for me. Now it's your turn.